Hi guys, it's Christmas week this week um, and although we don't celebrate Christmas we have a lot of family members around so we're going to be spending the week with family. Today is Christmas Eve yes. and the kids were getting a bit hyper, I think they're a bit excited about tomorrow. So we've just been to the park for them to have a run around with friends um, and now we're going to head to my parents house. Um, my brothers and sisters are there um, and we're just gonna have some nice family time, probably make some biscuits, do some baking. Oh, and I made all these cards. You made some cards? Oh, and that's nice. We... Yeah, so I thought I'd just do a vlog this week to, to show you what we're gonna get up to with my family. Morning, guys. Today is Christmas Day, the 25th of December. Um, it's about 8 30 in the morning and i am about to stick a chicken in the oven um because my parents obviously do not eat halal um so their turkey will not be halal so we're taking our own halal chicken round to their house and the reason i'm cooking it at home mainly is because my mum does not have space in the oven um for two big birds so i'm going to be cooking it at my house and then i'm going to be taking it round to their house for lunch. Um, I think we're going to be going around the house about 10, 10.30. Um, they actually go to church first so we have to wait for them to come back from church. Um, the kids are super excited um, and yeah I'm really looking forward to spending the day with family. So I've just prepped the chicken and I'm about to stick this in the oven. Um, normally I put garlic and lemon inside but I didn't have any lemon left because I had about eight lemons the other day and Delal decided to make lemon juice with her friends so I've got no lemons but I did find some lemon and thyme seasoning so I put that on top so I hope it tastes good we are just taking Asia for a walk because she's a bit grumpy and we don't want her to be crying over lunch, so we thought we'd take her for a walk before lunch to get her to sleep. Asia is asleep, that didn't take too long. Hopefully she stays asleep when we get inside. We are ready to start eating. This is the only time of year we have a starter. My mum managed to find some alcohol-free Christmas pudding this year. Um, we've never had this before, so it'll be interesting to see what this is like. The kids have got ice cream for pudding. What does it taste like, kids? And I'm not a candy cane. Candy cane as well? Wow. You got candy cane and ice cream? Best Christmas ever! Today is Boxing Day, December the 26th and we're just on our way to the little town centre to see the Mummers performance. Now if you don't know, the Mummers are a traditional English thing um, and men dress up in shredded newspaper costumes and put on a performance. They sing and do a little play in the streets and they do it every Boxing Day. It's a really old English tradition and we go and see them every year. Bread and drinks for ale. <laughs> that keeps you from looking pale. 
Paper. The one that we normally go to, they wear newspaper clothes, but this last one they didn't, did they? Year, last year they didn't, they had the same costumes as that. We didn't yeah, that was a different one. They the yeah, they did a bit of fighting, didn't they? But now we're going to the shops for the Boxing Day sales. So I was just trying a few things on that we bought today, so I thought I'd pop on and show you what I bought. There's this lovely leopard print jumper from New Look and it's so warm and cosy. I can't get enough of leopard print this season. It just seems to be everywhere and I'm loving it. I want leopard print everything. Um, also from New Look, I got these lovely trousers. They're kind of black and red kind of crisscross pattern. I absolutely love them. They feel so warm. The fabric is really, really warm. Um, I've got these in a grey colour, grey and black so I know these are going to be amazing for the winter. From next I got this really warm cosy jumper and I absolutely love the little bobble sleeves aren't they just so cute. Also from next I got this long cardigan it's got pockets as well which I absolutely love and it feels so nice and cosy. I also managed to get some kids clothes from Next. I've got these um, tops for Dalal, um, just plain tops, but they've got like a nice little frill on the bottom, which is really cute. And I managed to get this gorgeous dress for Asia. Isn't that just so cute? I love the little tassels on the sides. That is gonna look so cute on. And I also got some cardigans for Asia. I've got this red one which has got tassels on the bottom as well. I absolutely love tassels. That's really cute. And a plain orange one. Quite bright, but I think she could pull it off, especially with this dress, because it's got the orange tassels. That will look nice together. I also got Asia this little blouse. So cute. I love the detail on there. So cute. I couldn't find any boys clothes and that was a shame because I really wanted some. Riyadh really needs a few long sleeve tops but I just can't find any good ones anywhere and I was hoping I'd get some in the next sale because I normally get clothes in the next sale but I just couldn't find any decent ones. And then from Marks and Spencers I got a couple of skirts. So I got this, isn't this amazing, <laughs> metallic pleated gold skirt I am in love with this and look at the waistband isn't that so cool so now I just need to hope that I can find um, 
somewhere nice to wear it to so I need to go out in the evening or something give me an excuse to wear a metallic gold skirt the other skirt I got from Marks and Spencers is this one which is plain black and it's midi length but it's actually made from like suede it feels so nice and it's got massive pockets I don't know whether you can see, it's got really big pockets on each side. So I just think that's going to be really useful. It's so hard to find skirts with pockets. So yeah, I just think this is a nice, simple skirt. It's going to go with everything. Nice gold zip at the back. Yeah, I love this one. It's going to be so warm for winter as well. Today is Thursday, the 27th of December. Um, I'm at the cinema waiting for the kids to come out. Um, the older three went to the cinema, but I had to stay out with um, Asia because she just climbs over everything. I couldn't have her climbing over all the seats and all the people in the cinema. The other three went in with our friends. So I just did a bit of shopping while um, the kids were in the cinema. I'm now waiting for them to come out. Um, and then we're gonna go have lunch. It's lunchtime. We're off for a walk. What are we doing, boys? We're catching Pokemon. Oh, we're catching Pokemon. You're going to shoot the Pokemon with your gun? No. Oh, the baddies. We've got a Pikachu already? Oh, we got Pikachu. Santa had Pikachu. Pokemon Go! Have you got him? Yeah. No, I missed him. Wait, wait, you might escape. Don't escape, don't get out. Today is Friday the 28th, 28th, yeah. 28th of December and um, we've come for a walk in the woods. Kids need to have a little run around because we've been stuck inside quite a lot this week. So yeah, come to a new woods today so be interested to see what it's like. Saturday and I made this sensory tub for the little ones to play with probably about a week and a half two weeks ago and as you can see it's still keeping them occupied um, in there we've just got things from Poundland so there are some little pom-poms jingly bells strings of beads oh that should have been there and I just added some little plastic egg cups today just for another little sensory play element they can fill them up with pom-poms or the little beads and things oh these mirror balls are really really good as well aren't they awesome. everyone loves a mirror ball so Asia's having fun with that today well we're gonna just do a bit of reading this morning I've got um Roald yeah. Dahl the BFG that's what we're reading aloud at the moment so we're gonna have a bit of a quiet morning reading doing some things at home and then we might go out to the theatre later we're spending the morning at home today, so the children are doing some art. Um, I've got the watercolours out and Della is having a go at painting beautiful flowers. She's doing a good job there. You've done a bit of painting as well, haven't you, Cammie? Do you want to tell me about your picture? Um, that's a rainbow and that's a love rainbow and that's another rocket in a, in a fish tummy. A space rocket in a fish tummy? Yeah. And what about this one? This is a nice one. A space rock in this this time and this this time and another space rock going off down there. You did a good job there, didn't you? 
And a light or the rainbow. And a rainbow there, lovely. We've just been to see Peter Pan, the pantomime at the theatre in Bath. And uh, what did you think, everyone? It was magnificent. It was really great. It was brilliant. It was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. Great singing and dancing. And it, and it was, enjoyed it as well. And it was like, and it was like Peter Pan was actually flying. I know that was so cool how they made him fly, wasn't it? We've just got back from the theatre and um, I'm going to make some pizza for the kids um, but I'm going to use a recipe I've never used before for the dough and that is making the dough from plain yoghurt and flour. I've never done this before, I've seen it on TV so let's see what it tastes like. So to make this pizza dough we have used two cups of yoghurt and about two and a half to three cups of self-raising flour. Um, and it worked out really well, didn't it, kids? Yeah. So we managed to get four balls of dough out of that. So we're going to make four pizzas, aren't we? You're going to want to eat? If you want to make more, just add more of the ingredients. Yeah. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let's put it in the oven. The pizzas are out of the oven and they look delicious. Let's give them a try. What do you think of the pizza then, kids? Oh, yeah. I miss oh, it. Oh, Thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Do you like it, Della? Yeah. And you ask here? Mmm, yummy, yummy. Yeah. Today is Sunday, and we are just trying a bit of wet felting. Yours is fine. Yours is fine. So we've got some wool here, and we've put it into. We've pressed it into the cookie cutters and now we're going to put it in this solution of water and soap and what we need to do is we need to press it like this. Can you have a go? And then hopefully that's going to get all felted together. So far we've got a star, a rough for Riyadh and a for Asia. And hey, mummy, I'm doing a duff for Della now. Oh, lovely. I'm doing and now Camille is doing a mosque. That's lovely mosque, isn't it? I like the colours you've chosen in there as well. Yeah. Peach and light green and dark green. Lovely. And pink. Yeah, peachy pink. So these are our finished wet felted shapes and letters. Um, we're going to have to leave them for a while to dry. I'm not sure how long they're going to take to dry, but they're soaking wet, so they're going to take a while. It was actually quite difficult to do some of the shapes, so we ended up doing lots of stars, as they were quite easy to do. Now we're just making some biscuits. Um, I got this book kindly gifted to me from Walker Books, Snow in the Garden, A First Book of Christmas by Shirley Hughes. And it's an absolutely lovely book full of stories, but also crafts and recipes. So we're having a go at this festive shortbread recipe today, um, but adapting it slightly because it says that you have to sprinkle orange zest on top once it's been baked. But we're actually putting the orange zest inside. We might put, We might drizzle some chocolate on or something as well when it's done. Smells good. Smells delicious. I know, it smells so nice and orangey, but it smells like limey too. So here are some of the biscuits we have made. We've packed some more away into a Tupperware to take to a friend's house. It was a lot harder than I thought to drizzle the chocolate over the top, so I ended up just dipping half of the biscuits in chocolate, because I think that looks quite nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to follow along my motherhood and homeschooling journey. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram account at Multicultural Motherhood because I'm posting on my grid and on my stories every day so you can follow what we get up to on there. Thanks for watching. Bye.